Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is What Does a Capital M Mean in Physics? In physics, we usually denote mass by a lowercase m, and occasionally a capital M is utilized. So whereas most subfields and e of physics and equations in them utilize the lowercase, in introductory mechanics, we have the universal gravitational force equation, which is a vector, and it's attractive, so there's a negative sign, and it's equal to negative g capital M lowercase m divided by r squared r hat, where this is the universal gravitational constant, which is a fundamental constant that is the same everywhere in the universe. Capital M is typically reserved for a celestial body such as the sun that has greater has a larger mass than the lowercase m r is the distance between the center of mass of both celestial bodies and r hat is just the unit vector to indicate the direction of the distance between the two celestial bodies so here i have a uh, large celestial body uh, relative to our planet, for example, and it would have a mass uh, capital M, and then I would draw a little dot for the Earth, which orbits around the Sun, and the Earth, in this case, would have a mass denoted by lowercase m, and the distance between them would be r. So we can see that as the planet moves away from the star, that the force of gravity from the star on the planet becomes uh, slightly smaller due to the fact that it's 1 over the distance squared. But finally, here is one of the true instances where we use capital M to denote a mass, the mass of the larger of the two celestial bodies that are orbiting each other. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is What Does a Capital M Mean in Physics? Mm -hmm.